Alright, so what's our mood now? Angry, little cheerful, willful, and lonely. What a combination. What a combination. Right, okay. Oh. We've got 100 for Sense Magic because we've got the costume on. And so I'm thinking, let's just take the last two classes and then hopefully we'll be able to move on to something else. Alright, okay. This might not be enough, let's see. You learn how to maintain a low level deflection field so that magical attacks not directly targeted you will slide, slide harmlessly aside. This doesn't need much power, so you can keep it up for long periods of time. You learn how to directly counter offensive magic with your own power, so that you can burn out a spell that someone else has cast. This is very dangerous if the other spell is too powerful. Your increased skill and powerful give you power give you innate resistance to mind affecting magic. Well that one will be a hundred, that's alright. You learn to shape light into images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. You learn to create a powerful explosion of light, burning all those caught within and blinding others who look at it. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Elath, has passed away. You might remember him as the Condom King. This isn't really a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. Hello back. Welcome back, Granny. With the control of Lath in and out, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Arise, Arise, the Duchess of Lila, Arise, oh dear lord, I love the names in this game, <laughs> has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighbouring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire eastern border. I don't know anything really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar, or you might want to appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adair are both young, not too far apart in age. He requests that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. <sighs> right, I'm going to leave this up to you. I have an opinion, but I won't say what I think until afterwards. So, leave him with a rise, send him to his grandfather, marry him, or send him to your uncle. Gertie, you can only vote once. Alright, so... One for Mary, one for Uncle. Uncle. Gertie, stop it. Okay, right, well everyone, okay, right. That's two for Uncle. Personally, I would send him to his grandfather. But I'm going to go and say, send him to Uncle. Right. What about your brother, Armand? He would be a safe pair of hands to watch over Adair. As you wish. Well, he's really positive at the decisions, aren't they? Right, okay. I'm going to see what Bitlate says now. I've voiced my opinion. Um, what's our mood? Um, angry's good. Cheerful's good. This is something that can give us a bit of pressured. That would make us more yielding. Oh, what the hey? Let's do that. Attend court. There we go. Sitting in the court sessions is not fun at all, but it pleases your father. Oh, look at that face. Okay, so... Skills, 100, 100, 100. There we go, right. Alright, uh, we were talking about swords, so let's do some swords. And... Um... 
Another one. Another one. Um, okay, let's do dogs. Why not? We haven't done dogs in a while. Let's get dogs up to 50. So, weapons, swords, and animal handling dogs. There we go. I'm a petulant magical girl. You choose a young puppy and begin raising him to respond to you over all others. Your skin in dogs is now 50. Yep, okay. You take up a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. Okay. There's a woman here to see you. She's a musician and wishes crown patronage. Melody's happy because we've got a puppy. Which means money. Ooh, your Royal Highness. If you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. I wonder if she also writes naughty poetry. The musician sings a little dem ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. She's actually pretty good. Uh, the test failed, so I'm presuming she's actually quite terrible. Okay, should we accept her or should we reject her? Come on, one more vote. Casting vote. Accept or reject? Reject. Thank you, but we're not interested. Okay, so... Alright. Angry's good for martial prowess. And I don't really know about the rest. Um, okay, let's go back into the dungeons. That gives us a point of angry. Alright, okay, we've read that one before. Okay, so... Don't really want to do any more dogs. Because we've got the puppy now. And we'll do some more weapons. We've got a nice big bonus coming up in that and swords. And is there anything else you guys would like? Two swords? Okay. Mm -hmm. Two weapons. Okay, I think most people are going for two swords, so let's do that. So, weapons, weapons, swords, and swords. You practice slow swings to move your blade to precisely marked targets, building up your muscles and control. You drill with a partner. You drill into a partner, attacking and blocking with carefully timed patterns. You practice moving a blade, moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. You receive a letter from young Lord Adair. So far, he's enjoying himself with your uncle Armand in ba Mazomba, Mazomba, Mazomba. He says the trees look different, and there's a lot more frogs. He looks forward to visiting the lookout fort at Shepherd's Point. Right, okay. Okay, so I'm Mazomba. Um I'm fairly I'm fairly ambivalent at this point to be totally honest with you if uh Hello, too many fandoms. Yes, this is Long Live the Queen. Mazomba is so much fun to say. Chapel. Okay, everyone's saying chapel. Let's go to the chapel. Is the attend service? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Attend service. You attend services in the Castle Grove, letting the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Okay, right, so we're now more willful. We're now more willful than angry. And our skills still maxed out there. 50 there. Um If we want to do if we want actually are we gonna just want to max out swords now, do you think guys? Um 
Yes, to swords. Okay, so all right, if we want to get this over 50, we're probably going to want to get one of the others to 25. So let's do two archery. Archery, archery. Dum -de -dum -de -dum -de -dum -dum -de dum -de dum dum. No American's going to get that, and you're lucky. You learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. So that's got that one to 25. Staring out of the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star. Pretty. It looks fairly empty out there, a bit like inside my head. Alright, okay, so let's do something that makes her willful. Oh, actually, I tell you what, let's go and talk to the... Uh, no, let's do something that makes her willful. I want to make... I want more willful. Uh, no, I actually want angry. Don't I? Uh, yeah, let's return the angry we took away. There we go. Alright, so... Okay. Alright. Skills, don't worry. Classes. Pole arms and pole arms. So we should do this. That should get us a 20, over 25. Next step, next uh, week we'll do swords. Hopefully we'll get this done in time. You learn about a variety of long weapons, from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and galeve. You practice walking around while carrying a long weapon, Uwer, and getting the feel for its size and weight, and learning to maneuver without banging into anything unintentionally, and rubbing your hands up and down the shaft. You've unlocked a new outfit! LED's a bit special in general, to be totally honest with you. What a beautiful day! It's nice to stop and breathe sometimes. Okay, so... Mood... Um, we could use... Actually, we could use a bit of yielding. How about we do... How about we do... Yeah, how about we do attend court? Yeah, that won't uh, change the angry, but that will get us uh, our, our less willful. Um, no, nope, you guys are all arguing about yourselves. Let's do that. There we go. Sitting on court sessions is blah and bloody blah. And what outfits do we have? Let's see what it's like. Taybard. Okay. Let's go back to Magical Girl, because I get the feeling we're going to want those hundreds. Because people keep on shouting at me, saying, we want hundreds! So, skills. Uh, weapon skills are... Lost. Oh, there we go. 25 and 25. Okay, so let's do swords. So... Thorns and thorns and thorns and thorns for everyone. Especially people living in Mazumba. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. You spar with a partner, trading blows while looking for openings to tag each other. You begin to work with a metal blade, getting a feel for the weight and edge as one is learning to care for it. You practice drawing your, your blade and striking sh at short notice from a variety of positions. Okay. My lady, there are letters for you. Another another letter from Bryony. Why does she keep writing to me? We were never even friends. Because you're queen, dearie. Because you're queen. She says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwynell's birthday party. That's right, Gwynell is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. This other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwynell and I were friends at school. This will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Okay, so... I don't care whether she's crown princess or queen. Yes, can we move to Bazumba? Don't go, party, don't go. Um... I don't think... Okay, uh, okay let's send our regrets. I'd better stay here. Alright, um, let's go and visit Juliana. Pissed! Pissed! 
Well, that's another good word. Pissed. I need to talk to you. What is it? That princess, Selene, she's a lumen. I can sense it. I know. What do you mean, you know? If you knew that, why didn't you tell me? You don't need to know. Your job is managing the domain. Some of us have other duties. Our missions have been passed down for centuries, little princess. You are here. We are here to train you. You don't need to know any more than that. Damien, you're in trouble for what you did to Tallulah. Order to explain or let it go? What do you think, guys? No? Okay, explain. You are supposed... No? Okay. Every, th every test failed. There's something unusual there. You are supposed to obey me. I ordered to tell you everything that you know. Yes, it would require more time than we have available. If you survive, you will learn. Go! Oh, plus one angry, that's not gonna hurt. Alright, skills. Alright, point in swords. And what else should we do? See you, Mega Razor! Okay, so one swords yet. Yeah, we've already worked that one out. And what else should we do? I give the number of times we fail it. I want to do divination. We're going to do divination. There we go. You learn techniques for thrusting your blade through armor to disable or kill your opponent. You learn advanced techniques for holding off multiple opponents at once. There we go, 100. You have nothing more to learn about swords. You read about King Latimer and how he knew he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown in the spider's web. Sigh. All my friends are at Gwinnell's party, and I don't get to go. I sent Gwinnell a letter saying I couldn't come, but it was the mother of the Countess who replied. I think she's insulted that I didn't consider the event important enough to attend. Right. But we could have been off with Elvard right now. Flowers. Oh. I think that's probably what Bitlate had in mind, to be totally honest with you, Fat Frog. Let's do the flowers. There we go. Walk in the fresh air. I just forget the birds on your shoulders. Okay. I'm comfortable doing some animals. I know people want me to do more dogs. Um. No, no. Anyone else got an opinion? No, no. Oh, doing that. Okay, classes. Animal handling. Animal handling. Horses and falcons. Not gonna save. That's no fun. It's not like I'm going to back up to the nearest save when we die. I'm going to go and play something else. It's 10 o'clock anyway. You're too angry to focus properly. You're too angry to focus properly. Well, that was fun. The Duchess of Lila has sent you a gift. What's this? It's a cushion, finely embroidered with the design of a running horse. It's well done and clearly required hours and hours of needlework, but it's also fairly useless. A bit like Elodie. Well, that's nice, I guess. Right, okay, should we keep the creepy horse cushion or should we give it away? What do you think, guys? Keep, 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 give. 
couple more seconds. Couple more. No, no, we're keeping it. Find find a chair. Find a chair or sofa to sit it on. Okay. All right. So he gets more depressed. So let's visit a tomb. I haven't done that one yet. You pay respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is waiting for you. Yep, probably. Okay, so classes. Do the same. There we go. Done. You visit the muse. Oh, oh yeah, hold on. This is horses. This is falcons. Why should we be visiting the muse? Mew. That would be cats, wouldn't it? Mew. Mew. You visit the muse and learn about different types of trainable birds, their preferred nesting sites and behaviour and food. You put birds in the muse. That just seems wrong, doesn't it? You walk around the stables, meeting the royal horses, learning about their breeds and their names for the different parts of their anatomy. Mew. The Duchess of Mead is here to see you, my lady. Don't think we've done this one, have we? Um. Mm, hello, Briony. I'm sorry to trouble you, but have you seen Briony? No, not since I left school. She shakes her head. She has gone missing. She's not at school where she should be. I know she was unhappy, but I never expected. No, Briony's dead. She wrote me a letter saying that she was bored and looking for adventure, but that's all I know. Oh dear. I hope she hasn't done anything too foolish, my poor little lamb. I'll have to go look for her. Um, right, what are we doing for mood? Uh... Uh, we're fairly, fairly depressed. Um... She runs away to a magical forest and gets tentacled. <laughs> uh, okay, let's attend court. That'll do up some of the stats in the direction we want. There we go. All done. Uh, looking grumpy again. And our classes can stay the same. Okay. You learn about the fragility of hunting birds and the years of training necessary to develop mastery. Lucky for you, the Royal Falconer does most of the hard work for you and the birds don't know what Mew means. You learn about caring for horses, grooming with different brushes and keeping hooves free of stones. <laughs> what kind of hell the kind of game is this? You've unlocked a new outfit! As you're walking through the Great Hall, a freak gust of wind suddenly blows out all the candles in the room. An omen of, an omen of war and danger. There's no sign of where the danger might be coming from, so there's nothing you can do about it. Perhaps it's nothing. Okay, what are we doing for mood? Um, I think that's just a 10 court again, because that's going to get our stats going the way we want. Have a look at the new costume. Because let's face it, that's the important thing. Daddy ho! Back to Magical Girl. Alright. And skills. Okay, they're both over 25, so let's do a couple of lessons in dogs. There we go. You roam around the castle and grounds with your dog, letting him learn his way while he becomes accustomed to the sights, smells and sounds of the castle inhabitants. You begin training your dog to follow simple commands such as following or staying in place. <laughs> Things have been so unsettled lately, everyone's on edge, we need something cheerful. You could hold a tournament. What a good idea. Knights, jousting, muscles, oil, flesh, 
Musicians, sorry, all sorts of competitions. Everyone loves a, comp uh, a, a competition. What we offer is prizes to the winners. Status, employment, or gold? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Jobs, jobs. Oh, he's a lazy dog. What can I say? All right, everyone's saying jobs. Let's do jobs. The winners will have an option of taking up royal appointments. It's a recruitment drive. Well, very well. I would draft the announcements. You leave him to his work. As you move through the hall, your by falls upon a vase of flowers. Pretty, but apparently not getting enough water. The leaves on one blossom have shriveled. Someone on hall duty is being lazy. Those flowers should be replaced. You continue upstairs to your room where a maid is waiting for you. I'm willing to bet that that's actually a man disguised as, an, uh, as, a, as a, a, a maid. My lady, a gift has arrived from Kigal. From the Duke? No, my lady, a merchant house, I believe. It was sent with a shipment down the Kavala, Kavala River from Mzumba. You tear open the brightly coloured paper to find... Chocolates! There's a little card on the box, with our compliments, the house of Kreliat. All of a sudden, your puppy, who is usually so well behaved, growls at the box of chocolates and lunges at it. Bad dog, chocolate isn't good for you. Silly thing, making such a fuss. Um, I'm taking for the fact that people are shouting, Evil chocolate, do not eat it, say no, doggy. Eat the dog later. Let's save it for later. I don't feel like candy right now. Maybe later. Right. Yeah, we're mostly bland. I've clicked that button before. Oh, I see. Okay. Anybody want something to do? I'm not particularly fast. Ten court, explore the castle. Gardens, okay, a couple of people are saying gardens. Let's do gardens. Walk in the air, fresh air helps you to forget the burdens on your shoulders. Right. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get uh, dogs up to a hundred then. Oh, no dogs, no dogs. Master falcons to live. A bit late for that. Anyway, so we're saying no dogs, and one person saying falcons twice. Mm. Let's do falcons. So falcons and falcons. You learn about the hood and leather jesses and how and when they're worn and how to keep them maintained and oiled. I, I start to see why you people wanted now. This is sort of a, um, a bondage thing, isn't it? You spend your time with your chosen bird, speaking to her and letting her get to know you. You don a heavy leather gov and encourage your bird to hop onto your fist. Then you smack your fist into the floor repeatedly. This is the week of the general tournament. Nobles and commoners alike have turned out to compete against each other. The people will be pleased if you participate in their games. However, it would expose you to danger. What event do you wish to take part in? Well, I think we can possibly just do falconry or... Oh, we can actually do fencing because we've got actually really good sword skills, haven't we? So... Should we do... Okay, well, fencing would probably be a good one. Or we can do none. What do you guys think? Okay. It seems like... Uh, yeah, I think generally people are going towards none. Let's do none. Right. I guess I'll just watch from my tower. The tournament goes on without you. 
After the tournament, a minor tragedy is revealed. One of the stewards apparently had an incredible sweet tooth and dared to steal a piece of your recently received chocolates. He had a sweet tooth. The chocolates were poisoned. When you ask questions, it turns out that the merchant house which supposedly sent you the present never existed. Someone has tried to kill you, but you don't know who. Okay, there's no... Nothing, um... Uh, if we're doing animals... We should get rid of some of the angry, really, shouldn't we? So, is there something... Yeah, it is afraid, isn't it? Uh... Let's explore the castle. 